I'm Jan Kochman, principal flutist with the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra. I'm Joanna Gaffrere, principal flutist of the National Art Center Orchestra in Ottawa. Gwen Clausen here, assistant principal flute in piccolo with the Calgary Philharmonic Orchestra. I'm Christopher Lee, I'm from Toronto. My name is Lauren Esselson, I'm a flutist here in Calgary. My name is Lucy Jones and I'm a flute player in Calgary. My name is Sarah McDonald and I'm the co-founder of Green Banana Flute Studios. Hi, I'm Sarah Hansenoko, principal flutist of the Calgary Philharmonic Orchestra and proud co-founder of Green Banana Flute Studios. Today, we will be discussing what our favorite fingering is for B-flat in the first two octaves of the flute. Uh, first, thanks so much to Sarah for asking me to be part of maybe one of the nerdiest flute videos ever made for YouTube. So for the purposes of this video, we will be comparing three main fingerings. The long fingering for B-flat, the B-flat lever fingering, and the thumb B-flat fingering. I use all three, but it simply depends on the passage work that I'm performing. Finally, in university, when I had my very first lesson with my teacher, James Pellery, he played a passage for me during my lesson, and I simply observed that he was using the lever. It never occurred to me why one would use that lever. And uh, so immediately after the lesson, I ran up to a practice room and started experimenting with using the lever. And it became really obvious very quickly that the reason for using the lever is because you can achieve so much greater beautiful legato, particularly in the left hand. All those notes that are in the left hand, including the F sharp, which of course is in the right hand, going to B flat or coming from B flat, I use the lever. All the notes in the right hand, so F, E, E flat, D, I use the F key. The thumb B flat, I almost never use, except for arpeggios. I do find it comes, uh, it really enhances uh, the ability. So, um, like if you think of the Peter and the Wolf, there's an arpeggio in, I don't know, second or third page. It's just so much easier with the thumb B-flat. When I was a student, I was taught to always use the standard B-flat fingering with the first finger in the right hand and the B key in the left hand for all of my technical work, scales and arpeggios, and I still do that today. However, in the orchestra, I often use thumb B-flat fingering or sometimes the lever. So first of all, the standard fingering, I'll play the cadenza from Schumann's Spring Symphony, in this excerpt, we have a lot of B flats and B naturals, so I just stick with the regular fingering. Thumb B-flat, I'll use that if I want to keep something really, really legato and avoid that extra finger action of the first finger in the right hand. So a good example would be uh, the entr'acte from Bizet's Carmen. So here we have uh, a lot of B-flats and getting to and from the B-flat, I like to just minimize the amount of key action. So I'll use thumb B-flat for this. And then with the lever, I find um, when you have B flats and B naturals, but you really want something to be very smooth, it can help a lot. So here's a passage from WC's La Mer. So that really smooths that, that out instead of having uh, lots of keys moving. a lot more smooth. I use my lever B flat and my thumb B flat for most of the B flats and A sharps that show up in the repertoire.
I use the lever the most, but I wouldn't consider it standard for me. Uh, all the fingerings are standard for me. I don't have standard ones and alternate ones. Uh, they all have to be equally flexible because you never know when you're going to be asked to do them and it doesn't, you don't want it to be new. The first one is uh, the long one, the one where you have to learn one and one and thump. That one I have to say, even though it's the first one we learn, it's probably the one I use the least. The other one is the B flat thumb, which we all know on the back here, the little curvy bit. That one comes in very handy and I use that quite a bit. Of course, it depends on the piece that you're playing. And then the third option is the lever and this is my favorite option. And that's right here. Now I have a flute with a C sharp trill and so it has two levers, but we're talking about that one. And this one is so light and flexible and it's just pretty close to, to where your normal B flat fingering would be. There's another one that I use. I mean, it uh, depends on the B flat you want to play. And uh, it's basically a low E flat fingering with the middle finger on your left hand up. And that gives you a very, very soft, almost too sharp uh, second octave B flat. And that is uh, really useful. Actually, there's only one place I use it. And, and that is in Beethoven Symphony Number no. 4, the opening, uh, which is the flutes are having to sustain, the flute is having to sustain a long B flat with the other winds pianissimo and it seems to go on forever. So that's a good one because it comes out so easily. Just a little bit of a background. Um, one of my teachers, uh, Maurice Sharp, the late Maurice Sharp, was uh, the principal flutist in the Cleveland Orchestra for 50 years. And as such, he developed many fingerings and many alternate fingerings. He was largely self-taught at the, at the beginning as a youth. He loved finding fingering solutions to all the hard passages in the orchestra, and he passed all these down to his students. And one of his big um, points and main points of teaching was to use the correct fingering for B-flat for the context. So I would say my number one B-flat fingering is the thumb B-flat because it's so much easier uh, for any kind of piece that has B-flat in the key signature. Obviously, we're avoiding this cross fingering that you would use with the first finger. So for me, for anything that has B flat in the key signature, I'm a thumb B flat person and I find I'm pretty quick at, at moving the thumb back and forth. My second favorite B flat fingering is the side lever. Now this is trickier with a C sharp troll key, but of course this, this key on the side The advantage of this one, and it's really great in the context of having A sharps and B naturals in the same passage, is that you can leave it down for all these left hand notes, which is not the case for the first finger B flat. And that's a really great fingering um, all over the Griffiths poem, actually, because there's so many A sharps and B naturals. My least favorite um, B flat fingering is the normal one that we learn first in band in school, and that's, of course, just the first, first finger B flat. I would say I hardly ever use it. Um, I might use it if I want more stability in my right hand. So let's say there's a tremolo from F to B flat. <laughs> So this kind of gives my right hand more stability and I feel it balances the flute more than if I was using the thumb. When I teach, I like to encourage my newer students to learn the long-handed B-flat fingering first. So that's the one you see in the band books with your index finger and your thumb B key. Once they know all their fingerings and they're very comfortable, I get them to learn the thumb B-flat key pretty soon because I find the earlier they learn it, the better they are at switching back and forth quickly between the thumb B-flat and the uh, long-handed B-flat key. When I'm performing, my thumb B-flat fingering is my default fingering. That way it's very smooth and when I need to slide over to thumb B, I just slide over and no problem. This third B-flat fingering using this lever here, I very rarely use. I prefer to use my thumb B-flat because I can do it easily and quickly and on the fly. I prefer the thumb B-flat and sliding back and forth as fast as can be uh, to navigate my B-flats and B-naturals. My second choice is the lever and my 
third choice and almost never used in public will be the long fingering for B flat. I started learning flute in junior high and learned the long fingering for B flat. And when I found a flute teacher at the age of, I don't know, 16 or 17, I realized that there are other ways to play the B flat. And I learned how to use the thumb. And it was so much easier that I just forgot how to use the other fingering. During the pandemic, I've been practicing in my basement uh, because there's nothing else to do, no one to play with. Uh, and I have been learning how to become competent at that long fingering again because ultimately I think sometimes it would actually be even easier than the other two in certain instances. So I use the B flat lever as my go-to fingering, though I can honestly say I use long fingering for B flat almost as much. Uh, I use the long B flat fingering anytime the lever doesn't really seem feasible at the moment. I remember Jan Kochman teaching me about the lever years ago in one of my first lessons with him and the look of shock on his face when he realized I had, hadn't even heard of this fingering, let alone used it before. I reserve the thumb B-flat for moments of just sheer desperation, uh, something that's extremely fast with a lot of B-flats. Otherwise I find it really awkward and actually changes my hand position on the flute in a way that makes me uncomfortable. I truly had no idea that so many people use this as their default B-flat fingering. So there you have it. The favorite amongst us seems to be... Let us know in the comments section what you like to use and visit gbflutes.com for more nerdy discussions like this and helpful tips that can help you in your flute journey.